tonight again for our Agape Love Bible class. We thank God for this opportunity just to share the word of God with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. God has blessed us with another day. Amen. Hallelujah. And we just thank him. We give him praise, honor, and glory for this opportunity just to share a word with you. Amen. From the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And the scriptures. Amen. That pertain to our life, our living, our deliverance, our healing, our blessings. Amen. So we can know what we ought to do. Amen. How we ought to live for the Lord. Hallelujah. Believe on me. As the scripture has said, and out of your belly shall flow rivers, the Bible said, of living water. So we want that living water today. Amen. We want the, the blessings of God to flow in our lives. Hallelujah. <coughs> let's, let's pray. Father, we just thank you for this opportunity just to share your word. We ask your blessings to go out among your people. Lord God, we ask you to touch and deliver. Make a way out of no open doors to see and close. Move in the lives of your people, Lord Jesus, as we dive into this word. Amen. And so we ask you to bless, touch, and deliver. Make a way out of no open doors to see and close. Amen. And we want you, amen, Lord God, just to bless us and give us instruction. Amen. And knowledge and understanding of your word so that people may rightly divide the word of truth. Bless us today. Keep us under your blood. These are all blessed we ask in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And amen. Thank you, Lord. Excuse me. Amen. We thank the Lord for today. Amen. We thank him for this opportunity again <coughs> to share the word of God. Amen. Before we go into our scripture and our, our books of the Bible, turn your Bibles to um, the table of contents in the front of your Bible. Amen. I want to offer my condolence to the Banks and Amen. Logan, Lewis, and the uh, extended families of Mother Banks. A uh, true woman of God, amen. A pillar of the faith, a pillar of Antioch, amen. And part of the family, hey, one of the good things about growing up with a big family, amen, of God, big church family. Everybody's your family, amen. Everybody was a part of your life. And so um, we thank God that, amen, everybody was a part of your life. It was a blessing. But the, the bad part about it when somebody dies, amen, and we certainly still send our prayers out to uh, Sister uh, Jordan, Amy, and Larry, and all those uh, family members we missing Junior, amen. And any time there's a death, we, everybody, amen, feels that loss. Maybe not the same as the family, but in a lot of cases, when you come up in church, your church family is your family, amen. And so you do feel a loss. You might not be around, but you feel the same loss as, as many people feel, amen. So we send our prayers out to uh, the family, Mother Banks, she was a believer. Amen. Timothy Wright said, yes, I'm a believer. Amen. So Paul said, we don't weep as those that have no hope. So we know, well, amen, it's a transition from uh, death to life. Amen. And so we thank God for that in the name of Jesus. And, and we encourage all of those we might not know of that lost loved ones and going through different tragedies, and trials and tribulations. There was a song back out in the early 70s, 80s. Amen, and, and, and it's certainly relevant for today. These are the times that try men's souls. Amen, hallelujah. And so I never thought, I've, I've shared this with preachers and different people as I talk, amen, and share the word of God. I never thought the truth would be needed so much today um, than, it, than it is, amen, because it's just so many, uh, it's so many people going through Hallelujah. And so many people that are not sharing the truth of God's word. Amen. Hallelujah. And so the Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And so um, we need the truth of God's word. We don't need uh, conjecture, speculation. <clears throat> we don't need to be hyped. Amen. As far as the word is concerned, uh, we need to dive deep into God's word. Amen. And study to show ourselves to pro approved unto God. Amen. Uh, work we need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, it's so important for us as believers to be able to, amen, study. Amen. To show ourselves approved unto God. Amen. And work, work we need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Can't watch live. Uh, I don't know. 
Uh, what the problem is, I don't make Facebook, so I don't know. Hey, man, I got everything set up as I normally do. Um, please forgive me if you can't see. If you can hear me, let me know. Um, use, I had my Wi-Fi. Last time it was the Wi-Fi that wasn't on, but the Wi-Fi is on. Hey, man, everything is up. Hey, man, so um, I don't know what what the problem is. Hey, man. Excuse me for saying I was trying to adjust something. Amen. So if you can hear me, amen, great. If you can call in on the conference line, you can do that as well. Amen. Um, and you can come in on that as far as the conference line is concerned. Um, but those that are watching on YouTube, I know you can see, amen, those that are listening on conference line, I'm pulling out the number 1-218-844-1930. 1-218-844-1930. Uh, access code 7880170. Excuse me. 7880100. 7880100. Amen. So uh, that's the conference line that you can hear. Maybe like they do the football games. You listen on the radio and watch it. You know, turn your TV down. Amen. Maybe we can do it that way as well. So um, I just want to know if you can hear me. If you can't see me, I just want to know if you can hear me. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So. Let's go over our books of the Bible. Amen. And your table of contents go to the front. Amen. And we're going to read our books. Amen. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Rebekah, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John, Jude and Revelation. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can't see or hear. Lord have mercy. I don't know. It's the same as what I normally do. Let me, uh, Facebookers, let me shut it off just for a moment and I'll try to come back. Uh, let me try to come back. Amen. And see if I can come back and everything will be all right. Amen. Maybe it's a delay. I don't know what it is. Because I, I want you guys in on this. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Facebook families. Yeah, thank you, uh, Netta, for putting in the conference line number. Amen. Hallelujah. And our secretary on the, on point. Amen. So let's go to, can y'all hear me at all? I don't understand why you can't hear me. Can you hear me now? Testing one, two. Facebook folk. Amen. YouTube, excuse me. Conference line, y'all excuse me for a second. I just want to see if we can get Facebook on with us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's, let's go forward in the name of Jesus. And you guys, you can watch it on YouTube later on and you can get what you missed here amen in the name of jesus <coughs> <coughs> thank you lord hallelujah y'all keep me in prayer all right let's go to the book of numbers chapter 35 the children of israel is coming out of the wilderness they are all at, at the promised land they're on the other side of the jordan river getting ready to cross over. Maybe I wasn't speaking loud enough. Amen. Hallelujah. Getting ready to cross over into the promised land. 
And so God was uh, giving the children of Israel instruction of how to conduct themselves in the promised land. Not just, amen, for us to have what we want and to enter into the blessings of the Lord. There has to be a plan. You go to the bank, you want to open a restaurant, you want to open up a business, amen. The first thing they're going to ask you is, do you have a business plan? You need to have a plan for your success. Amen. Hallelujah. Just not arbitrary. Just don't throw things up in the air. There has to be a plan for your success. And so God had a plan, a successful plan for the children of Israel. Amen. To amen. Uh, how to live in the promised land. Amen. How to dwell and be in the promised land as a children of God. Amen. And so hallelujah, the people of God. Amen. Had to obey the word of God and the will of God so that God may be able to. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that the Lord may be able to. Hallelujah. Uh, bring them. Amen. Into the promised land as his children and not have them come into the promised land and become divided as you know they did. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So here in the book of Numbers, the fourth book of the Bible, the Pentateuch, uh, the five books of the Bible, the Torah, the law. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what, amen, we are doing here. Amen. We are entering the promised land. The land has been, amen, uh, divvied out. And uh, God had told Moses, amen, how to divvy out the land and the property. And now, amen, the children of Israel, amen, the children, the Levites, amen, the priests, God was showing them where, amen, telling, amen, the children of Israel or Moses where they supposed to be, amen, and how they supposed to abide in their cities. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So let's go to the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 1. Chapter 35. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Command the children of Israel that they give unto the Levites of the inheritance of their possession <clears throat> cities to dwell in. And he shall give also unto the Levites suburbs for the cities round about them. And the cities shall they have to dwell in. And the suburbs of them shall be for their cattle, and for their goods, and for all their beasts. And the suburbs of the cities which ye shall give unto the Levites shall reach from the wall of the city, and outward a thousand cubits round about. Ye shall measure from without the city on the east side two thousand cubits, and on the south side two thousand cubits, and on the west side two thousand cubits, and on the north side two thousand cubits, and the city shall be in the midst. This shall be to them the suburbs of the cities. And among the cities which ye shall give unto the Levites, there shall be six cities for refuge, which ye shall appoint for the manslayer, that he may flee thither, and to them ye shall add forty and two cities. So all the cities which ye shall give to the Levites shall be forty and eight cities, them shall ye give with their suburbs. And the cities which ye shall give shall be of the possession of the children of Israel. From them that have many ye shall give many, but from them that have few ye shall give few. Every one shall give of his cities unto the Levites according to his inheritance, which he inherited. All right. So God is instructing the children of Israel to possess the land, to take the land, to be in different cities, amen, different places. And now the Levites, do every tribe have a location. Again, if you have your maps, amen, you can see um, the different locations where uh, the children of Israel were to abide. But the the, the Levites were to be scattered among the tribes, amen, and so they gave them, I think it was for like 43 different cities, amen, that the, the tribe of Levite were to possess, and so they possessed those lands because they had to be spread amongst the people because, amen, they were the priest, they were the church, amen, they were the policemen, they were everything, amen, they were governing basically over the people, the children of Israel. And so they couldn't be in one location way, you know, thousands of miles away from everybody else. This was a vast region, a vast place that God had blessed them to be in. And so uh, they had to uh, spread out the priests so people, they, they could be accessible to the priests. Amen. Hallelujah. We had to spread out. We had to be where God wants us to be so that, amen, hallelujah, we can be accessible to the people. He gave some apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists for the perfecting of the saints, the work of the ministry the edifying of the body of Christ. Amen. So I'm, I'm grateful to the Lord, amen, that he, he given unto us, amen, a word that we can, amen, his word that we can learn the lessons of Israel, amen, and learn that we have, amen, that place in him that he has given to us, amen, hallelujah, for possessing, and we have to possess 
the land, amen, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And so he gave cities to the Levites and also gave what would call cities of refuge. Now, we're going to go deeper into that. Uh, I don't need to answer that right now because it's going to be self-explanatory later on down in the scripture. Amen. So let's go to, amen, uh, verse number 9. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come over Jordan into the land of Canaan, <clears throat> then ye shall appoint you cities to be cities of refuge for you, that the slayer may flee thither, which killeth any person at unawares. They shall be unto you cities for refuge from the avenger, that the manslayer die not until he stand before the congregation in judgment. And of these cities which ye shall give, six cities shall ye have for refuge. Ye shall give three cities on this side Jordan, and three cities shall ye give in the land of Canaan, which shall be cities of refuge. These six cities shall be a refuge both for the children of Israel and for the stranger and for the sojourner among them, that every one that killeth any person unawares may flee thither. Now, it was a custom that if you killed somebody even by accident, that you had to die, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. So if you killed somebody, you died. So God is showing mercy to those that if it was accidental, that you didn't die, that you had to flee into what's called the city of refuge. And with six, six cities, three on one side of Jordan, the three on the other side. And so um, they could go to those cities and start a new life, basically. Start a new um, uh, life, a new existence, because uh, you got family members and everybody that were, um, you know, uh, upset and or angry that, you know, they lost a loved one. And so... They, 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 they sent you to start a new life in a new city so that that person may be able to, amen, move on. The family may be able to move on, and the person that caused the death may be, may be able to move on as well. And so those are cities of refuge for those people who accidentally killed someone. If you killed them on purpose, you died. But if it was done by accident, you were, you were able to um, go to these cities of refuge. I believe you on verse 16. And if he smite him with an instrument of iron, so that he die he is a murderer, the murderer shall surely be put to death. And if he smite him with throwing a stone wherewith he may die, and he die, he is a murderer, the murderer shall surely be put to death. Or if he smite him with an hand weapon of wood, wherewith he may die, and he die, he is a murderer, the murderer shall surely be put to death. The revenger of blood himself shall slay the murderer. When he meeteth him, he shall slay him. But if he thrust him of hatred, or hurl at him by laying of weight, that he die, or in enmity smite him with his hand, that he die, he that smote him shall surely be put to death, for he is a murderer. The revenger of blood shall slay the murderer when he meeteth him. Amen. <clears throat> like the family member, whoever selected to uh, take revenge for the family, the avenger, the revenger of blood, a man was able to go out and kill the person that caused uh, their family member who killed their family member or caused them to die. I mean, if you chop it down a tree and a tree fell on him or the axe fell on him, amen, most people would treat that as an accident. But it was their custom that if you kill someone, you die. And so God is just saying if it's not intentional, if it was by accident, then um, <clears throat> we want to give them leeway, amen, to start a life in Israel but with a different tribe. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm praying for you, uh, Brother Holmes. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Let's go to verse 22. But if he thrust him suddenly without enmity, or have cast upon him anything without laying of weight, or with any stone wherewith a man may die, seeing him not, and cast it upon him, that he died, and was not his enemy, neither sought his harm, then the congregation shall judge between the slayer and the revenger of blood according to these judgments. And the congregation shall deliver the slayer out of the hand of the revenger of blood, and the congregation shall restore him to the city of his refuge, whither he was fled, and he shall abide in it unto the death of the high priest which was anointed with the holy oil. But if the slayer shall at any time come without the border of the city of his refuge, whither he was fled, and the revenger of blood find him without the borders of the city of his refuge, and the revenger of blood kill the slayer, he shall not be guilty of blood, because he should have remained in the city of his refuge until the death of the high priest. 
Isn't that something? That 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 their their freedom came with the death of the high priest, and but they were still under, amen, subjection to that law, amen. And so that went as long as that priest that that covered them and that prayed for them, amen, gave that purification process with that person that accidentally killed somebody, amen, that they had to stay within that city of refuge of that priest. And if they left it, then they were subject to those who wanted to avenge the death of their loved ones. And so, but they, he wasn't free. The person that even accidentally killed the person was not free until the priest died. Amen. Hallelujah. So, amen. It's so important for us to understand our covering and, and, and how we, when we leave from under, amen, the covering, we leave ourselves subject to a lot of different things to happen to us. And so we, we, we have to stay Amen. In the presence of the Lord, in the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy, and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. So once we abide in him and he abides in us, amen. Hallelujah. Then we are, we are un, we covered with him. Amen. But outside of him, amen. So the song says, without him, amen, I couldn't make it. Without him, I would fail. Without him, I would be drifting like a ship without a sail. Amen. Hallelujah. My daughter, Lord. May God bless you, baby. Hallelujah. And so it's important for all of us, amen, hallelujah, as children of God to, amen, stay under the covering that God has placed for us, amen. God has given them rules and regulations and laws for them to go into the promised land with. We just can't see, you know, God give me a car and there's no instruction and there's no, it's just free to give and with no, no instruction with that car, with that house, amen, hallelujah, whatever it is, amen, we are free in God. Amen. Hallelujah. We're free in Christ. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Amen. But we need to know that even in our good days, on our mountaintops, we need to, amen, trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. We want to be so close and so careful when we outside of the covering because we don't know what's coming. Are we paranoid. We don't know where the end's going to come in at, hallelujah. But we have to be just as vil uh, vigilant uh, and, 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 and just as tenacious when, we, when blessings are coming, amen. And so just give God his, amen. Put him in your blessings, put him in your money, and your money shall be blessed. Put him in your life, your life is going to be blessed. But when God bless you, amen, he bless you with a plan, amen. He said, when thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. Strong God to bear the infirmity of the weak. And so when he do things for us, is not just for us, amen. He Paul told Timothy, take heed to thyself, to the doctrine. Give thyself wholly to them, and uh, thou wast both save thyself and them that hear thee. So you can only, amen, imagine what he has for you and the blessings he has for you. And a lot of times he don't give it to us because we don't have a promised land plan. Hallelujah. We need a promised land plan. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And, that's, and, the, and the old saying, you say, dance with the girl that brought you. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, amen. It's the same God that brought you out of Egypt, the same God that took you through the wilderness, and the same God that provided you th to the promised land will help you in the promised land. And so we need that plan. Amen. Hallelujah. Not of ourselves, but we need to plan to serve God and walk with God and work with God. Amen. Even in the promised land. Say, oh, I'm here. I'm in heaven. Oh, what a day of adjusting that will be. You know, when we all see Jesus. We will sing and shout the victory, amen. But we, we got a plan, amen. There's a plan to salvation. There's a plan to heaven. There's a plan to the promised land, amen. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, amen. Let's go forward. But after the death of the high priest, the slayer shall return into the land of his possession. So these things shall be for a statute of judgment unto you throughout your generations in all your dwellings. <coughs> you shall kill any person, the murderer shall be put to death by the mouth of witnesses, but one witness shall not testify against any person to cause him to die. Amen. So if somebody dies, somebody commits murder, if, if they did it, amen, and the witnesses, everybody, I seen them, I seen them, I seen them. Well, then you have to die if you have if you have more, more than one witness. But one person can't say, I saw him, and the person died. You can't die by the witness of one person. You have to be, amen, seen by multiple witnesses. Moreover, he shall take no satisfaction for the life of a murderer which is guilty of death, but he shall be surely put to death. 
and he shall take no satisfaction for him that is fled to the city of his refuge, that he should come again to dwell in the land until the death of the priest. Amen. Somebody's lost their lives. Somebody has lost their loved one. Amen. It's tragic. Amen. There's nothing, you know, to be manipulated or used to, amen, to facilitate this or for your own benefit. Uh, it, it's tragic. Amen. And so they lost a loved one. And so it should be honored and respected. Amen. And not used in any other way than what is intended to be used for. Amen. The city of refuge and all those, uh, the places that God has set up for us not to stay where we are. Isn't it a blessing how God will provide us a way of escape? Even in the Old Testament, he's providing a way of escape. Amen. Even if I did it and it was an accident, he's providing a city of refuge, a place of refuge that we may, amen, hallelujah, go and start a new life. Amen. Hallelujah. I know you didn't mean to do it. Go ahead and, amen, go to this new city, start a new life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Amen. Murder and killing and, amen, disobeying the word of God. Don't let, amen, the land be filled with blood and murder. And, 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 and uh, God is a God of love and peace and order and law. And so we, we need to serve him, amen, and show love. If we have the love of God in us then we will show love. If we don't have the love of God in us, we're not going to show love. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we have, you have not God, the Bible says, because God is love. Hallelujah. How can you love him who, you, who you've not seen and hate your brother who you see every day? So, amen. He said, don't, don't, don't fill the land up with, with blood. Amen. Fill the work, do the work that I sent you to do. Amen. In the cities, in the suburbs, suburbs with the trees and the plants, and you can, Amen. Where the gardens and the amen vineyards and all those places could be, amen. And so they, in a city, you know, multi, uh, metropolitan life, amen. And so that's that's basically the differences. And so he said, don't fill it up with blood, amen. Hallelujah. Unless you become, amen, a threat to the avenger, amen. That that's going to have to shed him. Then you got to he killed my my friend and I'm gonna kill you. And y'all know how it is now. It's in the streets now. The streets are full of blood now. Hallelujah. The streets of blood. That's that's a word. That'll preach. Amen. 34th verse. Defile not therefore the land which ye shall inhabit, <clears throat> wherein I dwell. For I, the Lord, dwell among the children of Israel. Amen. He. That's why he didn't want it, a murderous land. He didn't want it, a defiled land. Amen. A land that's serving Satan. Because he's there. I'm here. And I'm holy. And I want to dwell with my people in a holy land. I promise you a promised land, but I didn't promise you that I wouldn't be there. I was there with you in Egypt. I was there with you in the wilderness, and I'll be there with you in the promised land. And I want to be amongst my people. I want to dwell with my people. So I need that place clean. I need you to walk clean. I need you to live clean because I don't like uncleanness. Hallelujah. The God we serve is a holy God, is a righteous God, and a pure God. Hallelujah. So you got a lot of metaphors here. Amen. You got the avenger. You got Satan, the accuser of the brethren. Hallelujah. You got Jesus. Amen. The refuge. Hallelujah. He is our refuge, our strength. Even when we messed up, we was on our way to hell. Amen. But he 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 died for our sins. And so therefore he is, is our city of refuge. God is our refuge and our strength, a, a very present help in the time of trouble. Hallelujah. So no matter what you go through, God is our refuge. He's there to help us. He's there to heal us. He's there to bring us back into a one with himself. And so we, if we trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge him, he shall direct our path. Amen. And what we see here in this chapter 35, amen, is the distribution of land and places for the Levites, for the priests. Amen. For they were not to work or to labor, but to be taken care of through the tithing and offerings. Amen. For Amen. The priests, so that they could take care of the administration of the of the house of God. Amen. And the, the covering of sins and different things. And so he instituted the cities of refuge. Like I said in past, whatever. Even if it was an accident. You killed some a family member. You got killed. Eye for an eye, tooth for tooth. And so here, God showing mercy even in the Old Testament before Jesus died on the cross. He's showing mercy and love and grace to the people of God. And so, amen, we just thank God for his blessings today. We thank God for you 
listening today. I'm sorry, Facebook, for those that had problems. Amen. I'm, I apologize for those problems. Amen. And I pray that you can hear me now and you can see me now. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. If not, thank you for those that uh, switched over to the conference line. You can hear you can hear me now. Amen. In the name of Jesus and YouTube, all of y'all. Amen. Once I edit and post the video, you can watch it on YouTube. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Probably tomorrow morning or afternoon. Amen. Depending on the day. Amen. So you can watch the whole thing and it's just tired of me fussing and trying to get this thing fixed. Amen. On the fly. Uh, but I'm not Mr. Uh, uh, owner of Facebook. Amen. Zuckerberg, whatever his name is. Hallelujah. So, um, but pray for us as we pray for you in the name of Jesus. Uh, and we just thank God for his blessing. At this time, are there any questions or any comments? Facebook, you can type it in if you have a question. Uh, YouTube, put it in the in the um, uh, description box. And a conference line, you can speak what you want. Amen. Any questions or comments at this time in Jesus' name? Just for the conference line. Amen. No questions, no comments. Are there any prayer requests at this time? Yes, Pastor, I need prayer. God bless you, Mother Fields. There's conditions that, yeah, that I need prayer for. Amen. Hallelujah. Pray for the, the bank. Mother Banks is going on to be with Jesus. Hallelujah. I remember her two favorite songs yesterday. The Robin can say thank you. She can do it on the streets of the Lord. Oh, I want to see him. Amen. 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 Look up on his face. Yes, Lord. She is in that prepared place that she prepared herself for. Yes. And we thank God for that today. And I've been rejoicing in my soul over her life. Amen. Because I want to see him one day too. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Are there any other prayer requests at this time? Mother Fields, if you could lead us... Uh, in, the, in prayer, amen, and I'll close out in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, we come before your pr holy presence in the name of your son, Jesus. Yes, Lord. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all things, God, good or bad, God, because mm -hmm. you brought us through this day. And let's ring out. And this is the day that oh, I we are made. Yes, Lord. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you today, God. We thank you for this Bible study today, God. We thank you for going through the, the pages of the Word of God. Learning who you are to each nation, God. Yes, Lord. God, you showed yourself to, to Israel. Now you're showing yourself to, to, the, to the, the peoples of God. Yes. Don't you know Jesus? Hallelujah. Begin to know Jesus. Each yes. and every day, God, help us to know you better. Yes. These pages of the spy. Yes. Let Lord. us take this word and apply it to our life. Hallelujah. So we can see you, God. As, as, as Sister Banks used to say, oh, I want to see Oh, you. Just look upon his face. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. Yes. Me, we're looking I'll forward pass. for that day. Home at last. We're looking yes, for that, that, that day, God. That we look upon your face, Jesus. And say, home at last, home at last. Thank God Almighty, we are home at last. We thank you, God, today. Each and every one that's listening today. today. Yes, Lord. Because our redemption draws nigh. Nigh is here. God, we ask you to bless each and every listener. Yes, Lord. Everyone that's listening to the word today, God. Yes. God bless them. Do 
Jesus. Bless this pastor, God. Do that, Lord. Who's teaching this word, God. Hallelujah. Help him, God. Help us, God, to grow, to know you better. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Yes, Lord. Amen. God, we just thank you for this not another Bible class night that we can come together, Lord God. We thank you for, Amen, that we can study to show ourselves approved unto you, a work we need not be ashamed, rightly divide the, the word of truth. We had obstacles tonight. We had some some things to happen, Lord God. But we thank you that we can persevere through everything, Lord God, and also still give you praise, honor, and glory. And Lord God, to read these scriptures and. Uh, and try to break it down to the best of our ability, Lord God. And we ask that we give wisdom and understanding to your people, amen, to the hearer, that we may hear and obey your word and your truth, knowing that, Lord, you're with us in bondage, you're with us, with us as we leave bondage, and God, you're with us on the pro to the promised land and at the promised land. And we ask you to bless, touch, and deliver, Lord God. Heal the hearts of those that lost loved ones, Lord God. You are the only one that can replace any loss, Lord God, hallelujah, Lord God. And we ask, Lord, you that you touch and deliver again the Banks and then Logan and all the extended families, Lord God, of the loved one and the Jordan family and all those, amen. Brother Clifford Brown's family, Lord God, we ask you to, to bless his family and heal them, Lord God. All those that's lost the loved ones that we don't not know of, and we ask you to bless, touch, and deliver, make a way out of no open doors that seem closed. These and all blessed we ask in Jesus Christ's name I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And amen. Amen. <coughs> we thank you. Amen. We thank you and thank you and thank you. All those that are listening and watching today. All you that checked in today on Facebook. Again, I don't know if you can still hear me or not, but we thankful to you. Whatever the problem is, I pray that it gets done with. Amen. And we don't have to face it anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you. We uh, solicit your prayers for us, the ministry, the church, and amen, the work that, we, that we're doing here in the name of Jesus. And we thank God for you, amen, to come in and tuning in with us, amen, tonight and every Wednesday night, amen. We are in Bible class at 7 p.m., amen, and tune in prayerfully back to Facebook and it'll be all right, or back to this our conference line, amen, and eventually we have Amen. Launch. Amen. A new app. Amen. Hallelujah. We are grateful to the Lord for what he's doing. Agape Radio. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's on the air. It's on the air right now. Amen. And we're going to be having, amen, Agape Radio. We're going to be having Bible class and teaching eventually on our Agape Radio. Amen. App. Amen. On Google Play. Just type in Agape Radio. Hallelujah. If you can see that. Hallelujah. We are thankful to the Lord. For all he has done, amen. He's worthy to be praised. And so we are grateful to the Lord for what he's done. Radio.agapewwm.com, amen. And so you can go on to our radio station and hear it, amen. Eventually we're going to have programming, a lot of different things going on there, amen. And we're just grateful to the blessings of the Lord and how he allowed, amen, uh, us to be on the air. <clears throat> and so we're grateful to the people of God. We're grateful to God himself. And the vessels that he used for us to do this. Amen. And so we're looking for higher heights and deeper depths in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Saturday we are scheduled to be. Amen. In Amen. Um, Fredericksburg. But we don't know when the funeral is going to be or anything like that. But amen. If it's not on Saturday, then we'll be in. Amen. Uh, Fredericksburg at um, uh, Pastor Logan. Pastor Angelo Logan and Pastor Lisa Logan. So, amen. We'll be down there. Uh, 14 Miracle Drive, Freshburg, <clears throat> uh, 845 in the morning on this Saturday. Amen. And, and we're just looking forward to that service. If we don't have the funeral on that day, then we'll be down there at Pastor Logan's. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And so our Sunday morning, Holy Communion, we'll be having communion here at the church. Amen. Every first Sunday we have communion. Uh, and, and if you have not had communion in a while, come through. Amen. Stop by the church and let's have communion. We're going to have service and amen. Hallelujah. The Lord's going to share a word with us. Amen. When he share with me, I'll let you know. Hallelujah. He's going to share a word with us in the name of Jesus. And Amen. Looking forward to having a high time in the Lord on Sunday morning. Amen. And amen. We'll be back on Monday night. We have a great prayer service. Monday night prayer. Come on out on Monday nights at 7. 
Amen. We will go to before the Lord in prayer. Tuesday noonday prayer. Amen. It's online on this conference line. Call the same number. Uh, Tuesday noonday prayer. And next Wednesday night we'll be right back here. Amen. Hallelujah. In Bible class tonight. I don't know if she's online or on the phone. Amen. Uh, Evangelist Joyce, her birthday is today. And we certainly say happy birthday to you today. And we thank God for, amen, all you've done for the kingdom and for agape. Amen. And we thank God for you in the name of Jesus. All those whose birthdays we missed. Amen. We celebrate and salute you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, amen. We're going to close out with our closing scripture, 1 Timothy 1, 17. It says, Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, Amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape Way. God bless you in Jesus' name. Singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the Prince of Glow. Many arrows pierce my soul from without, within. But my Lord leads me on. Through Him I must win. Oh, I want to see Him. Oh, I want to see Him. Look upon me. For you, Mother. Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.